Hello. Welcome, everyone. I am Giuseppe Russo, and I am a data engineer team leader in the data platform team here at Doc Planner. I like singing, board games, Disney movies, and data. Yes, data is not only my job, but is one of my passions since I was very young. If I were to define myself professionally, I would like to refer to myself as a data alchemist. Let me explain to you why. I've been working as a data engineer since 2017, serving different businesses, contexts, and people. But all the projects I've worked on shared the common thread of unleashing the true potential abandoned in data when handled with precision and care. That's why I like to define myself as the alchemist of information. My job is to create the perfect elixir, getting the perfect data ingredients and transforming them into a structured and meaningful foundation, enabling those organizations to distill insight and wisdom from the vast sea of digital chaos. Today, I would like to talk with you about how to create this potion and especially what is our solution here in the planner. We will start from some basic definition of what a data platform is and why it is crucial for any company. We will then go and see the key elements of which a traditional data platform is composed of, specifically looking at all the processes needed to run a data platform and the requirements that such a system needs to accomplish in order to actually enable organization to use data properly. Starting from this, we will see some of the main challenges that a data platform team has to fight when developing and maintaining a data platform. I will show you how most of these challenges can be overcome by looking at data in a different way, embracing the culture of data as a product. In the end, I would like to show you our approach in Doc Planner, enabling business data-driven decisions through a self-service approach for our data platform. Okay, let's start. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, I shall be able to read your questions in the chat and reply to you. As a first thing, I would like to be able to establish a definition of a data platform that can adapt to any context. If you Google or ask ChatGPT to provide you with a definition of data platform, you will find a lot of different definitions, all of them focusing on a specific aspect of data platform. For example, you could define a data platform based on the processes needed for manipulating and orchestrating data. Or you could define it referring to the framework and architecture needed in order to process data. Or again, you could zoom into the tangible output of a data platform team, the data, focusing on its quality, integrity, and security. Or moving even farther, you could define a data platform by looking at the final goal considering the business point of view and the strategic value of data. What is the right definition? Probably all of them. All of these definitions are fitting because a data platform is a sophisticated ecosystem primarily dedicated to enhancing business outcomes. It must simultaneously address all the various challenges associated with working with data, including security, governance, and accessibility. Moreover, the technological foundation is crucial. A data platform is inconceivable without a supporting infrastructure and a set of processes designed to transform into a valuable and strategic state data. As a data alchemist, my perfect elixir will be the one accomplishing my company mission. In the planner, we work to make the healthcare experience more human. And as a direct consequence, the data platform's ultimate goal here in the planner is to provide the organization with all the data and tools needed to make the healthcare experience more human. This means that I'm working together with the data platform team to create a platform that provides a seamless experience for everyone willing to make data informed decision. If we really want to stick with one single sentence, I will say that our data platform is a centralized data hub that empowers all teams within Doc Planner to be data informed, efficient, and collaborative in their data operations. Let me dive deeper. 
I would like to see with you some of the key benefits of our data platform in Doc Planner, or at least which are our objectives. First of all, a centralized and intuitive data hub enables team to swiftly access and analyze data, significantly reducing the time needed for data informed decision making. This results in heightened operational efficiency in both product development and business operations. Through a centralized and meticulously curated data platform, teams can confidently rely on the accuracy and dependability of the data that they employ. This assurance helps mitigate errors in analysis and decision making, ultimately contributing to superior business outcomes. Fast data access also empowers teams to iterate and innovate more rapidly. This means that the data platform is a driver for innovating the business, and this assessment holds because a data hub leads to shorter product development cycles and, as a consequence, a competitive edge in the market. Guided by data and equipped with rapid access to pertinent information, product teams can also craft top tier products that closely align with customer needs, enhancing customer satisfaction, retentions, and loyalty. The data platform architecture here in the planner is also designed for scalability, accommodating the evolving needs of the organization as it grows. This adaptability ensures that the platform remains a robust and effective tool, capable of handling increasing data volumes and complexities over time. This is very important because every business for their intrinsic nature will never be the same, the same in five, three, or even just one year from now. Finally, the data platform empowers users. How? It does it by providing intuitive tools needed to reduce the barrier to entry for data exploration and analysis. This democratization of data access enhances user capabilities, allowing teams across the organization to leverage insights for better decision making. This is not only one of the most important and crucial aspects, but it's also one of the biggest challenges of a data platform team. We're going to see why this is such a challenge and how we are facing this in Doc Planner. But first, let's do a recap of the main concept of a data platform. As you may have noticed, I do really like metaphors. And I would like to take up a metaphor uh, proposed by Kimball for the description of a data platform, uh, which is a restaurant kitchen. Imagine yourself as a restaurant manager. What will be your main challenges? For sure, we can all agree that your main goal is to deliver meals to your customers. And the first thing needed in order to produce meals is raw ingredients. Talented chefs select the raw materials needed for their creation. Then they transform it into appetizing, delicious multi-course meals, which is the restaurant product. In this very high level flow, the last thing is to deliver meals to our customer. This seems quite simple and optimistic though. Running a restaurant is not that easy. In fact, this is just the surface of what a restaurant needs in order to run their activities. First thing first, we need to build the kitchen. We need to buy the key components such as fridges, ovens, or sinks, and to bring them together so that it is easy for the chefs to prepare their products. And again, this is just the beginning because as soon as you start building something, you immediately have to think about the maintenance of these elements. And you also have to guarantee the security of all the processes happening inside your kitchen. You don't want, of course, to someone for someone to own your restaurant to get food poisoning when dining there. This does not only apply to the processes, but also to the raw materials, whose quality needs to be ensured and guaranteed. Moreover, if you want to be the best restaurant in the town, you should ensure that meals, which is again your output product, is conformed and respects some quality standards. 
everyone wants to consume the same quality of meal, and you must ensure that you are able to meet all the different tastes and necessities of your customers. Do you wonder how this relates to the data engineering world? Well, let's see. In our data kitchen, the foundational elements include storage system, networks, processing data platforms, data warehouses, reporting tools, and so on. It's taking to designing a restaurant kitchen equipped with state-of-the-art appliances, uh, efficient workspace, and seamless processes. Efficiency is paramount in our data kitchen, just as it is in a hostel restaurant. When the demand for delectable data is high, every moment must count. High throughput is a critical consideration throughout the data life cycle. Efficiently fetching raw data is essential. Delays in obtaining the correct timely raw data can disrupt downstream processes. A slow digestion process is akin to a kitchen lacking the necessary raw ingredients to prepare meals on time. Speed is equally crucial during data processes and modeling. Ensuring um, like uh, that uh, your meals are ready in the correct moment is crucial uh, in order to um, uh, make the customer happy. And it's the same thing as uh, delivering accurate insights to be served to the customers. And finally, when serving data, maintaining a high level of consistency and quality is imperative. Failing to meet these expectations or delivering unreliable data may deter users from relying on our insights in the future. Second point is monitoring and observability. Monitoring the infrastructure is akin to a chef, a chef overseeing the cooking process. We need insights into the performance and health of our data platform, some of them in a real-time manner. Monitoring allows us to identify and address issues promptly, ensuring a seamless and reliable experience for our user. It's the equivalent of keeping a watchful eye on the stove to present any mishaps. And much like a restaurant kitchen needs regular cleaning, our data infrastructure requires ongoing maintenance. Regular updates, optimization, and proactive troubleshooting are essential to ensure everything runs smoothly. If something in the platform is affected by a bug, it's part of our job to make sure to solve the bug and bring the platform back to a stable situation as soon as possible. Just as a chef cleans and maintains their equipment for optimal performance, we must do the same for our data tools and infrastructure. Security is a top priority in our data kitchen. We are not just serving up data, we are safeguarding it. Just as restaurant ensures the safety of its kitchen and ingredients, our data platform maintain an, a high security level. And one Im more important aspect is cost management. Managing costs in our data kitchen is comparable to a restaurant managing its budget. Efficient use of resources, optimizing workflows, and strategic planning are essential to control expenses. We want to deliver exceptional value without unnecessary extravagance making sure that our data kitchen operates efficiently and cost-effectively. In this intricate dance of data processes, each of these elements plays a crucial role in creating a well-functioning and reliable data platform. The complexity of this infrastructure underscores the need for meticulous orchestration. Orchestrating these elements ensures that all dependencies work in harmony, allowing us to deliver insight with precision and efficiency. Let's go now a bit deeper into our kitchen. And as we were saying, the first process is the one of getting ingredients, which is comparable to the process of ingesting raw data. It is the foundation for all subsequent analysis, much like the selection of raw ingredients is fundamental to every culinary creation. As data engineers, our responsibility is to ensure that incoming data meets certain standards as soon as they enter the platform. This is similar to chefs meticulously examining and selecting the best ingredients for their dishes. Data team, backed by service level agreements, should have some processes in place to raise a flag when source data doesn't comply with the requirements. 
And these should ensure a proactive approach to maintain the integrity of our data. And this, of course, also involves ensuring that accuracy, completeness, and adherence to predefined standard. By maintaining a keen focus on quality at this point of the ingestion, we lay the groundwork for reliable and insightful analysis. In our data platform at Planner, the raw data ingestion process is, is a hub where we pull data from dozens of different data sources, including production database and third parties applications. Handling data from different sources introduces its own set of challenges. It's akin to dealing with ingredients from various vendors, each with its own processes and quality standards. Um, some source may resemble with a well-organized production kitchen, Let's think of a production database, while others might be more aching to specialty and uh, uh, coming from like artisan uh, and other types of suppliers. And let's think of this like third party data. The challenge lies in creating a series of processes that enables the gathering of all these different inputs into one single place where all quality raw data are stored and ready to be used. Finally, just as chefs prioritize the freshness, of, the freshness of ingredients, it is crucial to highlight that these processes should be efficient, secure, and scalable to guarantee the data freshness. Maintaining data freshness is vital as it ensures that the information used as the backbone for subsequent processes is not only accurate and complete, but also up to date, contributing to the overall reliability and relevance of our data analysis. The second step of our cooking process is um, modeling data. Here in our data kitchen, kitchen this step involves cleaning, integrating uh, data, and transforming them, um, crafting a master data set. It is comparable to the preparation of ingredients and orchestration of flavors in the culinary world. Once the data undergoes this transformation, we can use it to the modeling phase. Uh, there, we will be modeling dimensions and metrics, creating coherent uh, data sets that allow us to consume and derive insights from the data. What sets our approach apart is the emphasis on creating value in a centralized and uniform way. Each model we build is not an isolated creation, but is a piece of a larger puzzle contributing to a comprehensive understanding of our organization. Consistency is key. Every model must align with the others to avoid creating ambiguities and ensure a unified representation of our data landscape. As a ultimate goal uh, of this modeling process, uh, we must take into consideration that we want to serve the data to our customer. Whether it's through real-time dashboards, reports, or other formats, the data is prepared in a way that allows for flexibility in consumption. The end user can access their insight in the way in which they need. And this adaptability ensures that our data remains a valuable resource, ready to meet the diverse needs of our customers and stakeholders. So we have prepared our data master plate and uh, it is ready to be served. And much like a restaurant accommodating various dining preferences, we recognize that not every data consumer wants to interact with our insight in the same way. In our restaurant, customer may choose to dine in a restaurant, dine in inside the restaurant, but they also may opt for takeout or use an online delivery service. And the same happens in the data world, where our data consumers have different preferences for accessing information. Some may prefer real-time dashboards for on-the-fly insights. Some might favor the convenience of reports or analysis, or some others may like to consume the data platform data in their own application. All customers may have different needs to increase their productivity. And our platform is designed to cater all of these diverse needs, offering a range of options for consumption. Of course, Efficiency is key in this serving phase. We must guarantee that the data is delivered in the most efficient manner, tailored to the specific form required by each customer. Could it be accessing the data warehouse, APIs, reporting, or uh, exporting data into other platforms like 
Google Sheet, for instance. However, I would like to emphasize how crucial precision is in addition to efficiency. Having impeccable models is futile if the output consumer differs from what was anticipated. Not just efficiency, but precision and observability of this process with notification system in case of issues are necessary. And they are necessary because we want to optimize the sharing and leave customer with a sense of assurance. But that's not the end of the story. Our data platform is not just about meeting current needs. It's also forward thinking and capable of adapting to more sophisticated situation. The data landscape is evolving and so the expectation of the, our customers are. And we are ready to embrace more advanced applications such as machine learning and artificial intelligence applications. Uh, but of course, we should ensure that our platform not only meets but exceed the evolving demand of our users. From traditional reports to cutting edge AI application, our goal is to deliver data with precision, efficiency, and adaptability, ensuring that every customer enjoys a satisfying and tailored experience with our insights. Okay, after this summary of uh, what a data platform is, let's take a step back and look again at the data platform as a central hub. The key processes that the data platform should facilitate start with data ingestion, which is about collecting data from various sources and consolidating them into a single location. It is important to stress that here, we're not only talking about core business data, but also about all possible subsidiaries. Once we get our data, we unlock the possibility to connect the different data sets and extract value without losing context. And moving on, we can start processing data. This is where we clean, transform, or modify the data to align with our specific needs and to make them ready to be used for generating value through models. In fact, then comes the modeling phase, where we build data models that not only create value, but also embody our company business logic. This is where we compute essential business and product metrics, providing insight into how the business is performing and actually enabling the data-driven decision-making. And once data has the correct shape, it's possible to start using it for reporting purposes. This involves using data in, again, meaningful ways, whether through visualization, visualizations, data sheets, or any other option that can facilitate the decisions of the business. Additionally, data in this form could be integrated by other applications, incorporating our models directly into the product to thus enhance existing features or maybe even create new ones. Finally, this is probably one of the hottest topics. The data journey culminates in the powerful realm of machine learning. Building machine learning models based on our existing models can unlock terrific potential. However, keep in mind that each step plays a crucial role in extracting valuable insights from the data platform. What we have talked about so far may resonate with those familiar with terms like data warehouse, reporting, and data analysis. Yet, in the middle of these industry standards, the reality is that working with data, be it as a, as a producer or a consumer, can be a source of frustration. It's a well-acknowledged fact that the landscape of data management has undergone a transformative shift. Data volumes are soaring exponentially, originating from an increasing array of sources, and uh, the pace at which the business users evolves make it challenging for data producer to keep the pace. Some of the main challenges that that, plat that a platform team has to handle in these days are scalability, for sure, because the data platform must seamlessly scale in alignment with the evolving business needs of the company. And this is not just about scaling up, but it's also about doing it while maintaining stability and cost effect effectiveness. The challenge is to foster change without causing slowdowns. And as I, was, uh, as I was anticipating, business objectives shift regularly and the organization itself can undergo transformation. 
Understanding the evolving business context is critical for delivering meaningful analysis. But as the business is evolving at a fast pace, the data system needs to change as well. The data system must be designed with flexibility in mind, making it easy to adapt to frequent changes in products and business goal. Simplicity here is a key because during this change, we want to prevent the accumulation of technical debt. Indeed, as systems evolve, it is crucial to manage technical debt efficiently. Balancing the need for change with maintaining simplicity is a delicate act to prevent long-term challenges. Together with business scaling, we assist also with a number of request scaling. And as a consequence, the more the time of data platform dedicating to clearing this request, the more the technical debt is accumulated. Another challenge comes from the continuous influx of data, and it is about maintaining robust security measures. What I mean is that the platform must safeguard sensitive information, staying compliant with evolving data protection, data protection standards, and trying to ensure the data integrity and user trust. Especially when ingesting data, the data platform team must take care of, of sensitivity issues. Observability is another challenge because it's a key to a well-functioning data platform. Implementing robust monitoring tools and practices is essential for swift issue identification and resolution, ensuring the platform operates reliably and efficiently but also that the data logic should be compliant. Then and we come with probably the most challenging part of this job. Empowering analysts requires not just powerful tools, but also user-friendly interfaces. A platform that is easy to access and navigate allows analysts to extract insights efficiently enhancing the overall value of the data platform. The work of the data platform team must take this into account at any stage. What I mean is that not only the platform must be flexible, flexible in order to adapt to all the changes we've been talking about, but also the team itself must be flexible and try to adapt to the business change in order to understand how to help the company grow in the most effective way. Well, it's a lot of things, and navigating these may seem daunting, and the potential consequences can be significant if not addressed promptly. The challenge also intensifies when the overwhelming nature of this scenario directly clashes with the primary objective of a data engineer, which is, again, extracting valuable insights from the digital chaos. Regrettably, relying on a conventional centralized data platform team can pose an obstacle to fostering a data-driven decision-making culture. The team may find itself stretched thin for huge periods, leaving little room for accommodating new requests from analysts, which are then striving to contribute to the company's shared goal. What has been implemented here in Doc Planner? represents a subtle yet profoundly impactful shift in the paradigm of data platform and data warehousing. Traditionally, the data platform is perceived as an internal asset, an investment meant to secure future value by fortifying business decision with a solid data foundation, ultimately leading to improved products and business operation. However, this conventional model has proven to be less scalable than desired. Let's admit it. This is actually a paradox because the data platform primary objective is to foster business growth and scalability. But if the business scales out of control, then the platform should be able to follow the growth. Otherwise it will lag behind losing its value and then not following the business anymore. And to resolve this aspect, a fundamental change is required in how we perceive data. Remember the restaurant where meals are the restaurant product consumed by customers? Well data should also be treated as a product. Okay, so in the traditional model, uh, explained here, business and product analysts obtain insight by an extremely deep collaboration with the data platform team, uh, which is a costly and time-consuming process. 
And this collaboration needs to go through all the stages of the data platform that we have seen previously, starting from the data ingestion to the reporting or ML stages. In the most standardized approach, analysts are submitting requests to the data platform team, and, the, and then they wait. They wait for delivery of standardized changes needed for their business analysis. And as we were saying, the data platform can be so overwhelmed that once the request actually manages to be taken into account, it is not of any interest anymore. It's clear how this model is not only hardly scalable, but it's inefficient and can lead to frustration and inefficiency on all the sides. And this is where this crucial shift comes into play. Instead of viewing the data platform as an internal asset, envision it as a product made accessible to analysts, which are our customers. In this model, analysts can autonomously use the data platform as a product tailor tailored to their needs. This means that the data platform team is fostering a self-service approach. This transformation empowers analysts to make data-driven analysis almost independently, contributing to the overall growth and success of the organization. Unlike the traditional mindset of adding more data without clear value, this new perspective ensures that the data platform is a solution aligned with real and concrete business problems and uh, that it provides tangible value to the end users. Many data platforms often fall into the trap of being a solution in search of a problem. For instance, there's a tendency to ingest new data sets into the data platform under the assumption that someone might find it useful down the line one day. However, the critical realization is that merely adding more data doesn't inherently solve the customer's problem or provide any tangible value. Now, by reframing our approach and viewing the data platform as a product with analysts as our customers, we are already inevitably assisting a swift change of the data ownership from the centralized data team to the data consumers. Let me please distinguish between the possessions and centralization of the data platform and the ownership of the business data within the data platform. In the first case, we are talking about the overall governance and management of the data platform, ensuring its functionality and accessibility. In the second case, we are delving into the ownership of the actual business data, which lies at the heart of the analyst work. Data as a product treats the data analysts as customers and make them responsible for developing data products to bring value and help them achieve their end goals. Thinking of data as a product means putting those user needs at the heart of the platform design. It means to design a data platform to be shared and not controlled. And this makes the whole data experience more delightful. Also, as you can see from the chart, changing the ownership dynamic doesn't mark the end of the collaboration. In fact, quite the opposite. This shift fosters a tighter collaboration, but with a newfound focus. It's about dedicating the collaboration efforts to the right domains, those that ensure analysts have the autonomy they need to excel in their work and providing the support and tools necessary for analysts to work independently, ultimately delivering them with a sense of inner peace. This might seem quite a significant change in the organization of your data. And I would like to go back to our restaurant metaphor and our meals and ask you like a provocative question. Would you let your customer enter your restaurant kitchen and cook their meals on their own? Or even more, would you let your customer cook meals that can be consumed by other customers? By tradition, the kitchen, the kitchen should be off limits to the customers. They should only be enjoying our culinary creations. However, this is exactly the point of shifting of the data culture. What we want to introduce here are two new challenges for the data platform team, ownership and autonomy. First, ownership. We need a paradigm shift over the traditional notion of the data platform team as sole owners of data. Granting ownerships to data consumer is not just a leap of faith. It's a proven method to enhance data quality. Data customers are armed with domain expertise. And th then this means that they are better positioned to derive meaningful 
insights from the mined data. Now, about autonomy. For data platform customers to truly own their data, they must have the capability to navigate the entire data life cycle independently. This empowerment ensures that the data product benefit from a team that takes responsibility, continuously enhances performance, and introduces new features in a secure environment. Emphasizing autonomy reduces the need for extensive feedback loops, enables with the evolution and enhancement of data product. In fostering autonomy, we instill trust in individuals to make prompt and well-informed decisions. Relying on company-wide synchronization for every decisions or pairing data engineers with business or product analysts for every, for every project is extremely time-consuming. And to achieve true autonomy, we must ensure analysts possess comprehensive business context, context but that's not enough. They need the independence to seamlessly consume data and develop their analysis. The data platform team here plays a central role. By developing and maintaining the data platform, it ensures that the platform addresses all functional and non-functional requirements discussed in this presentation. We are back to our ultimate goal, empower all teams within Doc Planner to be data informed, efficient, and collaborative in their data operations. Throughout this process, the team must always consider the self-service nature of the platform, keeping the needs of the data platform customers in mind when doing like the design and um, performing platform strategy decisions. The success of the data platform hinges on profound understanding of customers and the real world challenges. The collaboration between the data platform team and their stakeholders will shift its focus to more strategic elements, leaving repetitive and frustrating tasks behind. Of course, this collaboration takes time. It involves real world testing and constant refinement, especially when it comes to scaling and expanding to a broader range of customers. However, by releasing autonomy and ownership, not only the customers will be unblocked, but the platform team itself will, will benefit from this because it will be able to innovate and focus on business delivery. Of course, every new concept has its own risk, and this is no exception. The data platform team, however, can help mitigate this risk by proactively delivering self-service tools and testing frameworks. Some key challenges for this approach include, for sure, picking the right tools. We must leverage the modern, dat the modern data stack, and it is essential to combine powerful technology for scalability, productivity, and efficiency without, and this is important, uh, compromising autonomy. Then the data platform team should be empowering users. The architecture of the data platform should support a highly accessible yet secure environment, providing automations for rep repetitive routines. And the customer output should also be shareable among their peers. In this scenario, data governance becomes critically, critical. Um, this is especially true when we allow to users to import ungoverned data sources. And maintaining accurate and up-to-date and secure data involves establishing standards for accessing data sources throughout the business. Unlocking rapid insight is not enough. The use of a self-service data warehouse significantly enhances flexibility in data use, especially during business changes, ultimately boosting productivity and competitive advantage. Okay. Self-service data platform requires that all types of data are made accessible by the data consumers. So integrating new sources of data, such as operational data, third party applications, or analytic information from other sources should be seamless and automated. Internal ad hoc solution for connecting to production database or altering existing connection in a safe way should be provided to our customers. 
Also, no code data integration tool should be made available to data customers to integrate data from other parties and applications. Business analysts must be independent to create new models without any intervention of the data platform team to adapt the data models to changes in the business. Besides, the models can be used by other analysts or data scientists, improving productivity, shareability, and collaboration. There are potential challenges with such freedom. Development of circular dependencies, wrong transformation leading to duplication of roles, and out-of-date data. Tools such as DBT can help testing the business logic, monitoring issues, ensuring data quality, and fixing issues proactively before they impact the business. Data analysts own the product and business metric creation process as well. So they can also modify metrics as the business evolves. However, business metrics should be defined and centralized to avoid the need for redefining them. The teams who own certain parts of the business should define and create these metrics. In this way, we can overcome the fear of data inconsistency when giving ownership and autonomy to data analysts. It should also be possible for analysts to use data outside the data warehouse. These include visualization tools, reporting, and other means to create informational system for leveraging data models and making data-driven decisions. Additionally, other teams should have the ability to integrate data into their application through specific endpoints provided by the data platform team. If something weird happens in the reports on, or in the analysis, this is not anymore like a big problem for data platform team who should stop all their operations and focus on that because the analysts are now empowered to fix the problems. And to finish, the greatest value in ML and AI will be obtained by combining data that you have across your organization and even data shared by partners. So it's about breaking these silos and building a data culture. Data platform teams should enable data scientists to do machine learning efficiently. And this will require the ability to experiment on model using notebooks, capture the ML workflows using experiments, deploying their ML models, and do CI-CD for continuous training and evaluation. So, uh, oh, sorry, this is run. OK. Um, what I would like here to stress is that uh, both data platform team and data consumers can benefit from a self-service data platform. I've been talking about democratization of data um, and shifting data culture from traditional approach to a new one. Uh, this will improve the work of all data teams and provide the business with more meaningful insights and especially faster insights, so when they're needed. So this strategic collaboration together with autonomy and ownership will be the new key elements to be considered when willing to scale any data platform and that organization. So thanks a lot for your attention. Uh, I don't know if there's time for some questions. No question in the chat. OK. Well. I would like to, again, thank you for uh, your attention. And of course, if you have any question, you can contact me on LinkedIn or wherever you want.